In recent decades, consideration of the environmental impacts of tunnelling projects has grown from the scant to some would say overwhelming in detail. Professor Robert Galler of the Austrian Tunneling Society illustrates the point. The Brenner Base Tunnel from the Italian side and from the Austrian side, and you cannot imagine the difference. On the Italian side, we have one uh, paper which is uh, 500 uh, pages. On the Austrian side, we have, I would say, 30 books with each 500 pages. And it's even not enough in Austria. So we said we have to arrange something to see what is the difference for environmental impact studies in Switzerland. Germany, Italy, Austria. The size of an environmental report indicates the comprehensive extent of the study. Everything is watched uh, in the environmental impact study. And if something is not, uh, which is, uh, let's say, in the advice of the owners of the houses, which should be watched at, then we have to do it. So that's why some procedures of these environmental impact studies last for so long time, because the engineers do it as they think it's enough. But then the owners of the houses come and say, hey, you didn't do that and you didn't do that. Please do that and that lasts time and time and it costs a lot of money. Many things, in my opinion, are not uh, really ha or ha not really needed in this stage of the project. But if, if you know, um, the, if the people want to have that, then we cannot say we don't. And there is another concern. Yeah, it costs a lot of money and the money is estate money. So I think it does not make sense. On the one hand, I feel it's necessary to do something for the environment, of course, uh, no question for that. But uh, I think now we are doing a little bit too much. To consider these issues, the Austrian Tunneling Society will hold a workshop on Wednesday the 12th of October, the day before its geomechanics colloquium in Salzburg. That's why uh, I think we, we did a quite good program for that, interesting program. We have some people from the ministries here. We have some people from the Gotthard Base Tunnel telling us the Swiss, Brenner Base Tunnel telling us the Italian side, and also the Austrians, of course, uh, power, underground powerhouses, uh, then the huge uh, main station of uh, Vienna and the uh, Semmering Base Tunnel, Quorum Tunnel, so every, all the huge projects are in. For major Alpine projects, there are several concerns. The biggest problem is always the water, because uh, people who are living uh, over the project, on the surface on the of the project, they are thinking that we are leveling down the whole groundwater, so they are sitting in a dry area afterwards. And they uh, still do not believe that tunnelers uh, are able to, to make it, uh, let's say, fully tanked, watertight. Uh, they are not believing that. Yeah. That's why they are bringing so much people who are against the project. Protecting the hydrology of a project area often demands specific investigation. Then normally we do for such uh, big projects pilot tunnels. And we are watching what, or observing what is changing from the um, water resources management before we start the big project. Managing the disposal of tons of excavated material is another issue that attracts social concern. It's now there's a big uh, topic. What uh, what is uh, where is the material going to, and uh, are we doing everything that we can recycle it? I think this is the good thing on the environmental impact study because uh, I always say it's a kind of mineral deposit which we excavate here and we should think as a mine manager, okay, what can we do with the material? In best case, we can use it on the site. Uh, in worst case, we have to deposit it, just in worst case. But if we are thinking like a mine manager, we could even sell it. Yeah? And watching to the uh, Gotthard Base Tunnel, to the Swiss uh, way to live, uh, they, they are very good uh, in that topic, and I think we have to follow. Once months or years of environmental assessment study is complete, the report begins a process through the legislature. It goes uh, to two different ministries, uh, in Austria at least, uh, to the uh, Ministry of Infrastructure uh, projects uh, on the one hand side and the, on, the, on the other side to the Ministry of Environmental Impact Studies. There's an own ministry just watching on that. You can imagine how many people are sitting in there. Of course, as I said, it's necessary to be done, but uh, the question is, um, what is the limit, what has to be done in the very early stage of the project? Unchecked, the scale of the problem for the industry can be paralyzing. For the approval, we now need between 60 and 70 experts to check the project, where 60 persons were working on. So uh, every page is checked by, by another checker. So this um, is not possible. For, if, it, if it goes along in this way in the future, we, we end up in the nowhere.
We cannot uh, start any project because it stops here. There has to be done something to reduce it again. These issues will be examined further at the workshop in Salzburg in October. Visit the conference website for further details.